Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to Git Tutorial. In this session, I am going to explain you about three miscellaneous um, commands that is status, show, log and one more I will show you git k. So these are the commands uh, which are useful uh, while working with the git. So let us go ahead and start one by one. That is first one we will see about the git status. Status basically status command basically give you an information about the file statuses and also it will give you the few information for the user. What are the next step he needs to do so that either it will be in the committed status or it will be in the rollback status. So if you see this uh, at this point of time, it is saying that untracked files. When I issue the uh, git status command, it is saying that test 6 and test7.txt files are the untracked. So in order to track these files, it is saying that use git add file to include that will be in the committed. So in order to commit this one, we have to add this to the first staging area. That is the suggestion it is providing git add test6.txt txt now i am adding this one to the staging error if again uh, if i issue the status command now it is saying that changes to be committed so this anyhow it, it is going to be, it needs to be committed and another one it is saying that it is the untracked file so i again issue the git add test 7 dot txt i added this file to the staging if i issue the git status now it is saying that two files actually in the staging area. Now I need to commit these two changes or I need to roll back these changes. As I want to go these things as a part of the commit. Now I issue the commit command. Commit. M. I will provide a adding. Uh, adding. Test 6. Comma. Test 7. Dot txt file. Now if I give issue the git status it is saying that on branch master nothing to commit working directory clean that means whatever the files are in the working directory is same as the what are the um, files which is on the git local repository so this is the advantage of the git status command and another command which is useful is git show git show basically gives you an um, information about all the commits if we tag anything it will give you the tag information and also it will give you the t structure information so if you see here this is the commit we have happened uh, uh, commit and other who has given this is the other who is committed and on the date and what is the description about that one and what is the difference we are uh, files we are seeing and also the t structure how it implemented everything you can see here with the git show command that is the another ad, uh, advantage of the show command and if i want to see the another command is uh, git log git log will give you the information about the commits like i have so far i have the, done three commits to this uh, total um, uh, git repository so initial commit it is i have only done and it is saying that adding takes six seven files to the repository and previously we have added dot text file and initially we have added five new files so this gives you log will give you the info complete information about the commits for the particular um, branch as a particular works uh, particular repository and another useful command is git git k now if i see git k this will be a browser uh, it will open a browser where you can uh, find what are the changes you have uh, defined uh, what are the changes actually you have committed and also it is also shows that what are the files which are in the uh, repository and what are the files you have recently added to the um, working directory also you can see if you see these things initially we have added five files to the um, five files to the repository and that information anyhow you can see from the below this one and later we have added one more file if i go here this will give you the what is the commit and uh, what is the commit message we have given and also what is the content of that file it will give you and similarly for adding test 6 comma 7 also it has added truly new files 
so this is a git k command will give the browser uh, representation of the uh, changes and where you can check what is the previous um, data available on the files and currently what is the information it is available now for example i am going to change one file uh, here then we will issue the git command once again then you can see the difference this is test 7 testing 7 but modified modified data now i am saving this file now if i go here and uh, again issue the git command git k then you will see that there is a local uncommitted changes not checked into index that means you have done changes in the local but these are not yet moved to the staging area that is the meaning if you want to see these changes the previously it is it is having this is the test 7 but currently whatever the file with the local changes it is it, this is the local changes so once you have committed these changes to the local repository when reviewer reviewing the changes the reviewer will see the data like this something like this so as i explained earlier the um the git will not store the files as it is instead of that it will take the data of the snapshot at that particular point of time and it will compare the data and show you the differences this is how git internally maintains that one hope you are clear with the status show log and git k these are very friendly um, friendly commands to know more about the commits and uh, more about the changes uh, before you do any um, before you proceed with the uh, further uh, things thanks for watching if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video thanks for watching have a nice day